Back at the start of the pandemic, I predicted that used car prices would crash. I had over 110,000 views on that video. Not too shabby, and definitely a record for my small YouTube channel. Although I wouldn't consider it my best video. It's funny how YouTube works. I started that video with one of my favorite sayings, never let a good crisis go to waste. And I stand behind that. The pandemic was definitely a crisis and I've profited on some good opportunities along the way. Although when it comes to car prices, oh boy was I wrong, big time. Good thing I didn't put any money to work in the auto industry. Although maybe in similar fashion to Michael Burry, the guy who predicted the housing collapse, I was just too early. Because this time around, the Fed, it won't save us. It's not looking good. Back in 2020, what I got wrong was the extreme lengths the government would go to. That first round of stimulus checks, it was just the start. That followed with additional, uh, additional rounds, freezing student loan payments, eviction moratoriums, etc. The Fed also pushed interest rates back down to all-time lows and held them there up until recently. To make matters even worse, governments around the world locked down their economies. And this even continued well after we had enough data to show low mortality rates, as well as staff up and better equip most hospitals. It seems we've been in an endemic for a while, but, but back to the main topic, the, the forced shutdowns around the world have thrown off supply chains. And the helicopters of stimulus, they've created unnatural demand. As a result, this has really pushed up asset prices across the board. And we've seen both new and used car prices climb higher. So this chart, it shows that used car prices jumped roughly 40% over the past two years. That's way out of normal, as you can see. And going hand in hand with that, people, of course, they continued to buy above their means or buy more car than they could afford. So total motor vehicle loans, they've continued to hit new highs. In the past 10 years, total loans have climbed roughly 75% and it's topped $1.3 trillion. Over the same time frame, GDP is up roughly 50% and productivity and average incomes, they haven't climbed as much as the loans either. The stimulus and low rates have warped the economy, but now it's really time to start paying back a lot of that free money. The Fed is taking the punch bowl away from the party. With inflation numbers continuing to jump, a 9.1% increase in June, the Fed has to raise interest rates. Left unchecked, it could really destabilize the economy. For example, it could lead to a, a price wage spiral. As living costs like food and rent climb higher, employees demand higher wages from their employers. But those companies, they just then have to pass along those higher prices to their customers by charging more. It's a tough feedback loop to balance. And there, there are really more variables to consider, but that's the gist of it. To prevent it from spiraling out of control, the Fed, it has to curb demand. Many analysts now expect it to announce at the end of this month, July, a 75 basis point increase. Although I'm not gonna be surprised to see a full percentage point. By raising interest rates, it makes borrowing money less affordable. Already, we're seeing higher monthly average car loan payments, and I expect them to climb even higher. All the while, consumer savings are dropping, and consumer debt is back up to new all-time highs. On top of that, many industries are freezing hiring and cutting back employees as well. It's really not looking good, and I expect it to get worse before it gets better. So there's this kind of demand destruction at play, but some inventory issues are still putting some upward pressure on car prices. Although I don't think that'll be enough to offset the drop in demand. Thanks to the meddling government, the downturn in used car prices that should have happened in 2020, or at least started in 2020, it's starting today or starting in 2022. We're already seeing this happen and the billion dollar question or trillion dollar question now is how far will this recession go? It's just one crisis onto the next. And as always, never let a good crisis go to waste. I'd really appreciate it if you just tap that like button down below as well as subscribe. Um, in my future videos, I'm gonna show you where, when, and why I'm investing my hard-earned savings. Unlike many sources online, I tend to put my money where my mouth is. So I hope you'll stick around and thanks for stopping by today.